and be in entertainment. My name is Diane. And my name is Barbara. Tonight we have a special guest. Please welcome Jeff, that survived in the rainforest without any supplies. Thank you, thank you. So, Jeff, how did you get to the tropical rainforest? Well, I was skydiving with my cat when he scratched my parachute. There was a big hole in it, and I started falling down, and I landed on top of a tree. I eventually unclipped myself and jumped down, which wasn't smart. Sadly, I never found my cat after that, that which of course made me sad. Wow, that sounds like a pretty harsh fall. What was like the rainforest, and what rainforest did you crash in? I crashed in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil, like the one shown back there where while I was there, I learned that there is a wet and a dry season. The dry season gets warm, and the wet season gets colder and windy, and there's, of course, a lot of rain. I'm used to the warm since the normal degrees is 80 Fahrenheit. Since it's called a rainforest, how much did it rain? It rained quite a lot. It can get 66 inches to even 300 inches of rain falling a year. Wow, that's a lot of rain. One thing I heard about is the logging that's been going on in the Amazon. Yes, there's a lot of deforestation, which means a lot of trees are being cut down to make furniture. The Amazon is important because they get a lot of food and medicine out of the plants and trees. <coughs> oh. I'm sorry. I've heard about I tried a lot of food that I shouldn't have. I've heard about the Amazon River. How is that? The Amazon River is quite amazing. It's 4,000 miles long, along with many wetlands, lakes, and ponds. Well, I think that's enough about the Amazon, even though that was very interesting. I want to hear about the plants and animals. Tell us about an interesting plant or animal. Well, you'll be interested to hear about the corpse flower, or its scientific name, the Raphsia arnoldi. It can get to no, up to 90 centimeters wide and weigh up to 11 kilograms. It has big petals with red and white spots and is spiky on the inside, which I touched, and I it did not feel very good. I'm curious, where did this where does this corpse flower grow? It grows on the on the forest floor by wetland. Some of its limiting factors are sun because it's on the floor and the trees create a canopy over the rainforest. One amazing trait of the corpse flower is that it smells like a rotting flesh to keep away animals but to attract flies to pollinate. The whole reason I'm telling you about it is because I smelled the corpse flower and thought that it was a dead person and decided to check it out but to my surprise, it was not. Wow, that was very interesting. Tell me about a cool animal you tried to eat or saw a lot. <coughs> I encountered the green iguana quite a few times. The iguana's scientific name is Iguana Iguana. It's more than six feet long. One cool thing about the iguana is that it can change color if it needs to. The ag green iguana lives up in the tree, in the tops of trees, and can drop from a hundred feet into water. It mainly eats insects and plants, which helps the insect population. One thing that may affect the iguana is climate change by deforestation, making the population go down. Also, I discovered that it tastes like pork but chewy. I had found it all dead and scratched up, so I ate it. Thank you for telling us about your adventure in the Amazon. It was very interesting. See you next time on D&B Entertainment.